on the previous episode. All right, look, you gonna have to go ahead, make sure you comfortable, cause you getting ready to be here for a while. Cause I got a lot to share with you, okay? fancy beauty symbols i got a lot of work to do so we are going to start in the bathroom because that room is probably the quickest and the easiest that i can start with like real talk so normally i do a deep clean in the home wherever i'm at at least two to three times out of the year just to get rid of the dust that may have settled I'm mo mostly focusing on the fixtures in the home and then just whatever else I come across I make sure to always do my walls the baseboards the all of the framework I make sure I do all of that wipe down on those areas as well I did not put that in the video because this video is already going to be super duper long. It's almost, what, 40 minutes long? So I'm like, no, we're not doing that. So just want to let you get the idea and the, you know, the concept of what I'm doing over here, okay? So now this tip for the shower curtain, um, I've gotten a couple questions on that about why I do it that way. Well, one, it's going to save you some money on having to replace those liners because I replace my liners at least every three months. And so I kind of got tired of doing that because I get the, the heavy duty ones and that cost can add up pretty quick. So what I like to do is just go ahead and spray that down with whatever cleaner you're going to use spray it down and then just rub it together just to get that friction of the lining together and then it's actually going to help you get that dirt off of the shower lining so it's an easy way it's a quick way and most of all it's going to help save those fancy dollars for you so that is the reason why i wash my liners like that and believe it or not, it actually works. And it actually brings back the quality of when you first purchased those liners. So today for my cleaning, my cleaning choice, I'm using Comet Cleanser and I'm using, I think I use Awesome, but I do know for sure I used Lysol, the liquid Lysol cleaner. And I did everything in the tub area and sprayed it down with the comet and then you know that product is kind of strong so i went back in with the lysol because it's got that lemon fragrance to it and i just went over and re-cleaned everything in that tub area just to remove that harsh smell from the comet i also use it in the toilet as you can see here i really made sure to pay attention to get under the rim of the toilet because you know we missed stuff down there let's just be real about it and so i just took my time and cleaned under there put some elbow grease in when i was scrubbing and scrubbing just to get all of that from underneath there and then i put a what do you call those side deodorizers i put that in there as well just to help me clean and keep it kind of fresh down there uh, in between my deep cleans and my weekly cleans as well so as you can see here i'm not messing around okay 
I'm cleaning down the the doors, the doorknobs. I'm getting everything because we have to, especially in the winter time, we got to make sure we kill those germs as much as possible. Lysol claims to kill 99% of the germs in our home. So I figure, you know what? Let's stick with that. That's what they say it does. I've always been a fan of either or, Lysol or Clorox. It really doesn't matter. As long as it's going to keep the house nice and clean and germ-free as much as we can do it. You know what I'm saying? So here I'm just going through and I'm wiping down all of the home decor and making sure you get all that, you know, toothpaste splatter off all the dust off, whatever's gathered there, because this bathroom seems to attract dust like no other. Seriously, real talk. I've never seen dust collect so much in the bathroom. And I don't run the fan. There's no fan. There's, there's nothing really going on, but it's just dust everywhere, on the floor, in the carpet. So I make sure I wipe down everything really, really good. That candle, I never burn that candle. It's so pretty and it smells so good. And it just looks real good with the decor. I don't want to disturb the look. So that candle I've never never ever lit that from the bathroom because we're done in there and I'm moving into the living room area right now and again this video is mainly focusing in on cleaning the fixtures such as the fans the lights and things like that so I am doing that here in the living room area and I did this whoo, what maybe I want to say maybe three months ago because I wasn't able to get in on it like I normally do. So I'm taking everything down. I have to take the light bulbs out first and then you take off the shield. I know it's a name for that, but it slips my mind right now. But you guys know what I'm talking about. I just take off the cover of the light bulb. So I make sure I wipe that down really good. Yes, dust is flying. It's kind of gulped together. So it's, it's falling right on the towel that I have down on the floor. Because you guys know I have that white area rug underneath this. So I just wanted to try and protect that as much as I can. So I went over to the sink and I washed those covers down just to get all the gunk off of it. It wasn't that bad, actually, for me to not have cleaned it in about three, three or four months. So I was actually surprised about that. Like I said, the bathroom is it's just a hoarder for, for dust. I don't understand. So on, on to see where that dust is down there, I just went ahead and picked that towel up and dumped it in the trash bin. 
So now I finally found a map that I'm kind of satisfied with. I picked this up from Big Lots and it was $70. And the quality of the lamp is pretty darn good, I have to say that. The only thing is I wish it was taller. So what I had to do to combat that is I ended up having to just put a speaker. I have a car speaker, one of those boombox speakers, and I just got it on the side of the couch and just put it on top of that just to give me the height that I wanted for that area. Plus, it's a multitask <laughs> system. I'm using it to, to sip my drinks or whatever else I want over here on the side so the baby can't get to it. So here basically I'm just showing you how simple it is to put this lamp together because you will have to assemble it if you decide that you're going to go ahead and purchase this one. And it's really easy. They give you all the tools that you need which is just a wrench. A Allen, uh, is it an Allen wrench? Maybe. And um uh, so you just screw everything into each other, one pole against the other. They're going to have that cardboard inside of the pole, so make sure you pull that out before you go any further. So we're now getting up to the top. That cord, you, all you have to do is just pull it down from the bottom. See, well, I forgot to pull that cardboard out, so I have to <laughs> work with it. But I did, I finally end up getting it out of there. And then, now I'm just going to show how I'm just pulling that cord down. And then, I'm just going to work this area right here. Real easy to put together. Y'all see, I did my phone locks. So as you can see, it, that's not tall enough. It's like being swallowed up by the window and by that mi mirrored wall piece. And I was just like, mm -mm, nope, that's not gonna work. So I just used the box that it came in at first to uh, give it some more height. And then that was starting to give way to the weight of the lamp. So I, that's why I had to bring the speaker up and put that in there instead. But I like it. It really gave me everything that I needed, that I, I had in my head. And so, yes, I'm very, very pleased with this purchase.
I'm just showing you the different angles of how it looks when you come through the door. And yes, I love it. It gives the perfect, perfect dimension. We're moving from that area over into the dining area. So again, I'm focusing in on the fixtures, but I want to go ahead and get some dust and things up that was on the floor before we uh, moved on. And I'm just fluffing out the leaves on my bowl plant. And then we'll go ahead and get started into the next part. I'm making sure to wipe down the boys table make sure I get all those germs done and over with and out of here so they don't try to attack my babies I'll fight you Now we're in the kitchen dining room combined area in here I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep everything down I was going to include in there how I decorated the um, dining room table but I think I'm gonna save that for a separate video because it was a little bit more detailed and so I want to share that with you and you don't see me scooting around because I used um, the Murphy wood soap and I mixed it with water and that's what I used to clean the hardwood floors and I needed that area to hurry up and get done so that's why I was scooting around on the on the towel so now we're focusing in on that light above and we're just going to do the same thing we did elsewhere and we're going to take the light bulbs down take the covers down wash those really well and then dry them good before we put them back up there and move on to the next area
this picture I couldn't get the covers off so I had to do a workaround on this I don't know what happened because I thought I remember taking these covers down but I don't remember how I took them down and I needed to hurry up and get this stuff done before the boys woke up so I just have to get it so I'm just going through and wiping those cabinets down wiping the dishwasher down that I don't use have never used since I've been here and I've been here for what four years one on five Ugh. that's another story right there girl so yeah I'm just making sure I wipe everything down because you know Jamari has his little hands everywhere and I want to keep this place as nice as possible so I can get out and get my deposit back and I can move on. Now, I'm cleaning the stove right here, guys, and I did pull the stove out. I pulled the stove out, and I re pulled the refrigerator out as well. Swept and cleaned up underneath there, but again, that was just something I figured you guys wouldn't be interested in because, you know, I'm a clean under there, right? I mean, that's what I do. I'm a clean freak. OCD, okay? It's what I do. So now, going in the boys' room, this room gets almost as dusty as the bathroom does. So I, and I clean a room every week, just like I do everything else. But for some reason, it accumulates dust like nobody's business. Look at the fan. I'm going to show you guys what came off of this fan. It is ridiculous. And my boys is in there with that. So, no, I'm going to have to do that room more frequent than not. So, look at this. Let me show you. Look at that. That's ridiculous. And Jamari has allergies. I believe AJ has allergies, too. And so, you know, this being in a room is not helping things out. So I'm going to have to be more diligent and do theirs more frequent than I do everything else. Well, we're nearing the end now, guys. So I think I'm just going to end it, my voice over here and just let you guys enjoy the music. Let me know in the comment sections down below. How often do you do a deep clean? And when you do the deep clean, what does that entail? What products do you use? I just want to get some dialogue in the comment section. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you do it, how often you do it, and things of that nature. Until next time, fancy beauties and bows, stay true to yourself, stay true to God, stay prayed up, stay focused, and stay loving on yourself because if you don't love on yourself you can't love others and that's what we have to do we have to be able to love others so start loving yourself get all that gunk that's in your heart that's making you sad and not functional the way you want to be get 
deal with all of that stuff in 2020 so that you can love yourself the way you should be loved. And then that will open the doors for you to love others. Stay fancy and stay locked in on your girl's channel. I'll see you soon and always know that I love you very, very much. Thank you.